got some history today, and now we're going to get some real education. Rembrandt, as you may have heard, was a Dutch draftsman, painter, and a printmaker, an innovative and prolific master in three media. He's generally considered one of the greatest visual artists in the history of art and the most important in Dutch art history. His contributions to art came in a period of great wealth and cultural achievement that historians like to call the Dutch Golden Age. Now, that's Rembrandt Harmanzoon van Rijn to you. Born in 1606, died 1669. He's one of those few artists that when you think of the word art, immediately comes to mind. You say the word art, something like Da Vinci is going to come to your mind, Michelangelo, and Rembrandt's one of that triad of people you think of. Uh, but we'll go to this picture here. It's, a, it's, it's Christmas week here at the Dr. Duke show, and we had a very interesting picture yesterday. This one I think is also interesting. Here is... Uh, the, a, a beautiful little painting. It's one of one that we don't. It's one that we don't really think about much when we think of, of Rembrandt anymore. He has so many remarkable paintings that this one gets a little bit lost in the tra in the shuffle. This is called the Holy Family, with a curtain. And if you remember the one we saw yesterday, it was very Caravaggisti. It was a, a close-up of the Virgin Mother and Joseph and a couple of shepherds peering in down to the manger where Christ was. The baby himself was a sort, source, source of incredible light that, that, that illuminated those faces, almost as if they were sitting before a campfire. Very intimate, very personal. Van Honthorst invited you to the very center of the mystery of the, uh, uh, the birth of Christ. Here, it's a family scene, right? Here that very interestingly, Rembrandt has painted, it's not a real curtain, it's not a real curtain hanging on a real rod. He painted a curtain and a rod over the, the painting, and it's, you can see that somebody's just pulling the curtain back, so you can have a very, very brief fleeting glimpse into the life of Christ. And there the young Christ child perhaps just has been crying as children are wont to do. And as, mo as the mother, the, the virgin mother, as she's concerned with her knitting or her housework, she actually takes a moment to pick up the crying Christ child to soothe it. Uh, very intimate, but also notice the distance. If you think about the painting we looked at yesterday, you were right there in the scene. Notice how far removed you are from the Holy Family. And then there, you can't even barely see him. On the right side of the picture, right by the curtain, in the back, way in the back, illuminated, not, uh, uh, concealed in shadow, is Joseph, the father, uh, the uh, stepfather of the infant Jesus. And you can barely make him out. He's, doing, he's, he's toiling away at his carpentry. So notice that in this particular Christian scene of the, of the young Christ, notice how far you, away you are. You've got the picture frame, which, which isolates you, and then painted over the picture frame is the curtain, which isolates you. And then the mother of God, you're going to have to take four or five paces into the room before you even get to her, and another 10 before you get to come across Joseph in the, in, the, in the very back. I think what Rembrandt's trying to do here is to suggest that while the the public sacrifice of that young baby, the, 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 hu the human significance of the incarnation also needed to be balanced out by that other side of the family, their intimate, personal family relations. Kind of a beautiful picture for Christmas.